hello welcome to taylor with sugar thank you for subscribing liking and sharing and commenting now we're talking about how to sew a fish dress how to cut the down how to cut the down part of a fish dress that is the skirt part of a fish dress now we're starting by measuring the half length of the dress and making sure that the down of the dress is in place I did 20 inches at the down part of the flare to give it a, a wide enough, not too wide, not too slim. Then I'm going with the half length and taking up the half length of the dress for the measurement and marked the full length. The full length of this dress is 62. So I'm making it 65 plus allowance and the extras are going to cut off. Now I measure everything straight down measuring everything straight down the length now the length of the down part i think it became 45 after moving the half length at 17 so i'm measuring the full length of the dress of the skirt part now after measuring we measure the hip length the hip line that's what i just marked the hip line which i did at 38 I did that 38 so I've marked it out I'm going to use my ruler to straighten it out we are in my dress I'm using a duchess fabric in this that is a satin duchess and you can see it's going to give me a good stick now I'm dividing the waist into four I divided the waist into four I added allowance I added one and a half inches allowance to it so I'm going to mark it right there on the waistline. Now, from the waist to the hip, hip line is 9 inches. It's always 9 inches. So I just marked 9 inches for the hip. So on that point, I'm going to measure the hip. Divide it into 4. Add allowance 1 inches. I'm adding 1 inches allowance because... I'm not adding the lining into this dress. It's just a, a recept, it's just a bridesmaid dress that doesn't need the lining at the down part, based on the style. So I'm going to mark the hip. Then I'll come down to the hip line. What I have on the hip, I will move one inch on the hip line. What I have on that hip side, after allowance, I'll move one inch there. Then I slant everything down. I slant everything down. I join the lines together. I join the lines together. Now, it's always good to use the curve ruler to measure the hip. For beginners, curve ruler is good to cover out the hip. It gives you a good curve. But for me, I like using my free hand to cover out the hips. I've been used to that from day one. So I like that. I like using my free hand. You see me using my shop to make sure the lines are thick so you can see them. Now, I'm going to pin it all through so that while I'm cutting, it doesn't shift. Because if you know a Duchess satin fabric, the fabric that shifts, you can see the measurements, everything is accurate. The shape of the, the down part of the fish came out nice. So I'm cutting now. I'm cutting it out. You can see I'm cutting exactly on my marked lines. So I don't give extra excess allowances I, I do not need. Cutting exactly and I cut it out now. You see what it looks like? The shape of the hip, the knee length, everything came out well. Everything came out perfectly. So we're gonna cut that for the front part. We're gonna cut the back side now. So I'm using the floor because of the tail. The back side always has a tail that is always long. So the table will not be enough. That's why I'm using the floor. So now on this floor, I place my front part on the folded fabric. On my folded fabric. Now I mark my zip allowance at the back. I bring out my zip allowance first of all. First thing to do, bring out zip allowance. I made now one and quarter inches for zip allowance. Now one and quarter inches for zip allowance. I use the ruler to smoothen it out that's the best thing to do so your lines could be will be in place so after that now i want to measure the hip length 
so the hip length is 38 so from 38 i'm going to count upwards by four inches so that i have a fitted bomb yes that will give me 34. i'll have a fitted bomb bomb to bring out the shape of the fish on the bomb bomb of the dress the tail will sit perfectly on the bomb bomb when you make it like this four inches upwards remove four inches upwards and you have a perfect bomb bomb for your fish tail for your dress a mermaid dress so now i'm cutting it out i'm quickly cutting it out to give me my dress you can see me cutting it out i'm following the lines that i've marked i'm following the lines that i've marked you will not see me cut extras into it because it's not necessary i'm following the lines that i marked and they are coming on nice this is it this is what the finished work looks like this is what it looks like this is the front part that's the back part trust me it's going to look very beautiful when it's worn by our client thank you for watching oh, god bless you really appreciate it. don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to comment don't forget to share and yeah, i'm seeing now at the down part to give the tail a good slope at the lower part i'm going to slant out i'm going to slant it out so it can keep with the sides of the front i'm sorry you can't see this in this video i didn't know my camera was shifted i'm going to try and do another video of this so you can see a full one you see that i cut it out i can see it fully i didn't know my camera was shifted i'm so sorry about it but nevertheless the cutting came on me. Thank 